Now you're able to select your first stage. To speed things up, hold start during the score screen to skip most of the stage select animations. We want to select the bottom right stage next. You can do this by either pressing down, right, right, or right, down, right. I always go for right, down, right. Keep in mind, if you don't press down while the selection is in the middle of the screen, you'll end up going top right. Now press start to select the stage. Hold right during the spawning animation and drop down. You don't have to worry about the super jump because we're losing it during the drop. Jump up from the red vest pad and punch the guy mid-air. Continue forward until the next enemy is around this crash section. Then jump punch. Jump immediately after landing to avoid the falling rock. Punch before landing. Kneel to destroy the box and collect the big coin. Remember to pick the two drop coins as well from the killed enemies. You should have 300 coins by now. Walk forward and long jump here, using this crack in the rock as your visual cue. Damage boost from the first falling rock and land on the left side of the box and jump again. Try to do a medium jump so you can continue without hugging the wall, saving some extra frames. Now jump up and run down to the water again. Two long jumps to reach the platform where another box is located. Get the letter B and continue running down. Walking under these pipes can be really slow, but you can speed things up by jumping up against them. I usually do two jumps per pipe, so the screen doesn't get filled with splashing sprites. Try to jump early so you don't get hit by this next enemy, though it's fine if you do. Long jump here so you don't have to run in the slow water. Move forward and continue jumping up against these three pipes. At the end you do want to get a damage boost, so make sure your jump is late enough to do just that. Jump over the box and jump twice up against the first pipe. Now I recommend doing three jumps on this pipe since you want to prevent running time in water as much as you can. Jump up in this empty section and continue normally by jumping up against the pipes. Then similar damage boost at the end so you can just run through the falling rock. When in reach with this running enemy, punch him in the back and jump over him. Run down and spend your 300 coins to get a full refill. Get up and jump over the small pit. Open the box and choose the letter A. Now you get your first bot, the sword bot. Move right in front of this big enemy and do a jump punch over him. Sometimes you do get hit because of RNG, but punching him does interrupt his throwing cycle. Remember to do it instead of just jumping. Move to the next screen. Now be very careful with your bot from this point forward. You can't really afford to lose him until the boss. Now this climb can be really tricky since you have to use your sword bot to deal all the damage. Jump and turn around to grab the fence from this position. This position is quite precise, so if you don't feel comfortable saving a little bit of time, simply go around. However, I would highly recommend learning this strat because we're on a timer with the upcoming enemies. The faster you are, the more consistently you're going to get the pattern we want. Jump up on the platform, grab the fence and land here. Full jump and try to attack twice in the air to kill the enemy. He does have to move down in order for you to hit him twice. This is the pattern I was talking about. Otherwise you'll have to do another long jump and hit him again. Reach the platform here and jump attack to kill the right guy. This is for lag management and easier navigation. Turn around to kill the kneeling officer and just before collecting the coin he dropped, jump up and kill this guy. Now assuming you're on the right pattern, three jumps up so you're right next to this enemy. Hold forward to move your bot behind you and attack to kill him. Then quickly jump up to reach the top of the screen. The officer will instantly start shooting, so simply jump over the bullet. Run right next to him and jump over him. Jump against the ceiling and land right about here. Kneel and attack to destroy the turret. Do not hold right so your bot doesn't go behind you. Reach the top, turn around to punch the bullet or jump over it. Then get the letter A from this box continue through the doors. This is where the real fun begins because you have to make sure both you and your bot are in optimal health before reaching the end of the stage. The first spike ballroom ain't so bad. I recommend doing small jumps here. Jump right before getting hit by the first ball. Run through the second and another small jump through the third one. Reach the doors. If done right, you have taken two hits and your bot none. 
not a big deal if your bot ends up taking a hit or two here, but practicing hitless basically guarantees the safety of your bot for the rest of the stage. Once in the middle of the doors, buffer your jump button and hold right. Jump immediately after landing and turn around once you're inside the turret. The reverse damage boost should land Steve right on top of the box. Continue down and hold left. Get the letter B from this box. Small jump through this spike ball so you're not losing any frames while landing with your iframes. Try to do a full jump near the very edge to land here. Now if you have zero coins at this point, kill the turret and pick up the coin. Otherwise, just small jump over the bullet and run forward. If you're also worried about the health of your bot, destroy the turret. Two different strats for this next section depending on your health. If you have four or more health, long jump here to damage boost through the first spike ball, small jump over the fire pit and simply run past the second ball. If you only have three health remaining, run under the ball, jump over the fire pit and the second spike ball. This will greatly damage your bot, but at least you're not losing any health. Don't do this if you feel like you have taken too much damage to your bot already. Run until you're on this floor line. Hold down A to grab your bot. Then press B to throw it off screen. This will not only keep your bot safe for a little bit, but also lures the spike ball to come up so you can freely run under it without taking any hits. Be sure to be fast with your inputs here so this turret doesn't end up hitting you on your way down. Once you land in front of this officer, kneel down to dodge his bullet. Small jump onto the box, hold right and small jump over the fire pit. This is also important because doing a high jump here pushes our bot up against the officer above, causing an extra hit. Not the end of the world if you're confident about your bot's health at this point though. The last room has changeable gravity. If you do a long jump, or hold your A button too long, Steve will change gravity. You can still lightly tap your jump button without shifting gravity, though your jumps are always high no matter what you do. Long jump to reach the ceiling. Run in front of this turret and long jump back down. Take a step forward and damage boost through the officer's bullet. Jump just before he shoots. Use your iframes to land down to the fire pit, then jump up in front of the second turret. Kneel down and punch twice to destroy it. There's a spike ball right on top of you, so make sure hold down only, moving your bot in front of you to keep it safe from any unnecessary hits. At this point you should have 2 or 3 HP left. Shift gravity again, jump through this next ball, then long jump to reach the box. Get the letter A here. Do this as fast as possible. Jump up and back down, then immediately back up to avoid getting hit by the officer's bullet. You should now have the power suit. Get the red vest from this pad even though we don't need it for this coming boss fight, but for the next stage rather. Ignore the enemies or kill them if you're worried about your suit time. All hits here decreases your timer by 2. Land down to the teleporter and it's time for the fun RNG boss, Gravitus. One more thing to mention about the suit before we fight the boss. The suit fireball deals a certain amount of damage depending on the distance between you and the enemy. If you fire right next to an enemy, the fireball deals the maximum amount of damage which is 4. When the very end of the fireball connects an enemy, it only deals 1 damage. Keep this in mind when trying to kill bosses and enemies. Since we have the suit, gravity should die pretty fast. Start by moving here. Use this background line as your visual cue. When Gravitus drops down past this point, full jump and fire twice. If done right, Gravitus gets knocked back. Sometimes he starts off with an attack and there's literally nothing you can do about that. Just hope he doesn't. Now just like with the first boss, don't spam. Time your shots. Every time you see Gravitus getting back from the knockback animation, fire again. So fire twice, jump right, fire and jump through him. The suit contact also damages him. Turn left and continue juggling him until he dies. Time your shots and jumps. If he does end up using a sphere attack, try to jump attack instead of attacking on the ground. Jump firing is a lot faster. If Gravitus decides to shift gravity, your main priority is to destroy the gravity ball. If he's already underground, the gravity shift is instant and you can't do anything about it. This fight is all about adapting and hoping he won't be a jerk. However, you should always be able to kill him before your suit runs out of time. Once Gravitus is dead, make sure to get rid of your suit by standing in one of the fire pits. 
otherwise you would have to wait a bit longer for the score screen to appear. You clearly can't do this if you're stuck up on the ceiling though. <laughs> 